Revenge of Dish best served cold? Well, it might not be cold because these two teams played on Wednesday night. Hey guys, I'm Carmine Bianco from Wager Talk, and we're talking Edmonton Oilers, Vancouver Canucks. Saturday night hockey uh, from Vancouver, the Rogers Center, uh, minus 205 on the Edmonton Oilers, plus 170 on Vancouver. And on Wednesday night in Vancouver, 8 1 final. Yeah, 8 1 final. Now, you might be thinking, wow, uh, McDavid and Dreisaitl must have lit it up. But that was Vancouver, that one eight one. 8 uh, I took that one. I was on the wrong end of that one. Let's see if we can get on the right end of this one. What did we learn from that game? I don't think we learned much. I think these uh, teams coming out of the uh, NHL preseason are still trying to get uh, still trying to get their legs. We saw a lot of defensive miscues. We saw some skates. Some pucks go in off of skates in front of the net. We saw a goaltending change uh, for Edmonton. We saw power plays. Edmonton's red hot power play from last season that was the number one power play unit went only one in five, whereas Vancouver's, which wasn't as good, went three for seven on uh, on Wednesday night. So how do we how do we uh, how do we break down this game? We're going to keep it quite simple. One thing I did last year all throughout the season at Wager Talk. And on puck time, you know, if two, te- if, if two teams were playing back-to-back games, I would normally play the loser of game one in game two. Now, it becomes much easier here. Edmonton's home opener, looking to avenge a really bad loss, 8-1. Quite an embarrassment for this team. Now, do I want to lay minus 205? If you know me, I don't lay a numbers uh, usually higher than 180. That's just not in my wheelhouse. We can look at the puck line here. The puck line is minus one and a half, minus 115 on the Oilers. Um, the total right now sits anywhere from six and a half to seven. There's still some six and a halves out there, um, but this should be a flat seven across all our live lines on the Wager Talk live lines, which is free, of course. Head over to Wager Talk and click on the NHL tab for the live lines, and you'll see the numbers for these games. If, if you grab a number six and a half, I would take the over. We're going to see some goals. I think Edmonton flips the script into this one. It was an embarrassing loss for a team that is projected to uh, be one of the Stanley Cup favorites and to win the Pacific and the Western Conference. So uh, I'm going to take the Oilers on the puck line, and I'm going to sprinkle the over as long as we can get it at six and a half here. Give me your thoughts on this game. Let's not even talk about Wednesday's game that is done and dusted. Leave a comment below on this video. Let me know who you like in this game. Let me know who you like on Saturday in a big slate of action. And then uh, remember to subscribe and like this video. And you may win one of those Puck Time t-shirts that I'll be giving out throughout the season at Wager Talk and on Puck Time. Uh, For myself and Wager Talk, guys, good luck with your wager.